Hello everybody. This time I'm going to talk about one of the most underutilized techniques in Excel and that is home tab style cell styles. Now you would have seen this button quite often but this time let me show you the benefits of this technique. Especially if you are involved in financial modeling and a lot of equity research valuation and such models. Now quite often it happens that when you're building a financial model you are providing some cells as the designation of assumptions. What assumptions? Well, they are the cells where the user, end user will provide his value and all the resultant numbers which are linked to it will change. So it could be the assumptions based on sales growth or it could be an assumption based on cost as a percentage of sales. Now, typically the best of financial modeling practices suggest that you should dedicate this cell with a certain color so as to indicate whether they are assumptions or whether they are formula linked cells. Right now, if I have to give certain color combination, I have to do that manually. I go to home, I go to that particular cell color, which I find appropriate. And then I change the font color to blue. And I then replicate this format to all the other cells where I think the assumption has been used. Now, the problem comes up when later point in time, somebody tells you, look, that this kind of color combination has to be changed. For example, the revised color combination for assumption cells is going to be a light gray cell with blue color. Now you'll have to apply format painter, apply to all the other cells manually. Some place it may not be a percentage in which case the problem may exist. Now to avoid this kind of a manual updation, you will have to take the help of cell style. Let me show you how. First, let me remove all the formatting from these colors by saying no fill. And let me now proceed. I choose one cell. I then go to home tab, I then go to cell style and here towards the bottom of this menu I have something called new cell style, new cell style. Now here let me give a name called assumptions which indicate that this particular cell style is going to be dedicated for assumptions cell. In the tab of format let me click on it and there uh, let me pick up a light yellow cell. So I pick up more colors, I pick up one of these from the beehive and OK and the font color let me dedicate with a typical blue and it should be as it is no bold OK OK now once having defined the cell style let me dedicatedly choose that cell style which says assumptions now once I click on it notice this cell has captured this particular format now this is not the trick the trick is you can then choose other assumption cells go to cell style and use the same assumptions. Let me do that for the rest. Cell styles, assumptions. Now the grand finale. The final benefit is in case you want to modify this color from dark blue to light blue, the font color. How do you make a centralized change and that change should take effect on all these cells. So I go to cell styles. I right click on this custom assumptions cell style, right click and I say modify. I go to the tab format, I go to font color and then I change the font color to light blue. OK. As soon as I press OK on this button, notice all these cells which had captured this initial style of assumption has changed automatically. Now this is going to be a tremendous time saver in case you are building a model which spans over hundreds of rows and spanning across different worksheets. So try this with a simple technique and I also show you a technique whereby if you have defined a set of styles, cell styles, you can transfer those cell styles to a different workbook as well. Because by default, if you have defined a cell style, that should be restricted to only one workbook. Now assume I already have certain cell style defined, the dark orange and this assumption cell, and this I want to transfer to a new book. So I press Ctrl N, that will open a new workbook. In my screen, it's called book two. Now, assuming the original file in which you had predefined the cell style is still open in the background, I can go to cell style of the new workbook, cell style. I'll go to merge style. Yes, I'll be using merge styles. And if the other workbook is open for the time being, I can simply select once and press OK. So although you'll not find any visible difference on the outset, but if you go back to cell style of the new workbook, notice it now has assumptions. And now if you close the old workbook, which I'm going to do so, you notice the cell style still remains. So this is how you merge cell styles into the new workbook 
thereby not repeating your last exercise of defining cell styles.